make verified ID a requirement for opening a social media account. Over half a million signatures, and they're still coming in. You see people constantly posting. Look at the timers there. And the reason it's happening is because of soccer. Yeah, the soccer game. People were mean online. And therefore, people signed this to permanently have people have to provide an ID to even post on social media. And as you can see, the government responded. They don't seem that interested in it. Could be a debate happens for any, especially with these numbers. Now, who's pushing it? Joe Weller is pushing it. A apparently like dead YouTube channel where the guy does like workout stuff and interviewed like Logan Paul and Jake Paul. Yeah, apparently this guy wants everyone to have an ID. This is Katie Price. She is the one really pushing it, and she says it's my petition. So she appears to be the deep source. Now, I don't know this woman. I tried to look her up, went on YouTube. All I can see is she has a son who appears to um, be mentally disabled, and she pours him out for content. That's all I get from it, uh, that her son is used for content on this channel. If that's if I'm wrong, I apologize, but that's all I can find about her, and that's all this channel appears to be, and the most viewed videos appear to be. She did this here with her, here's uh, here's my headquarters, no one cared. Here's her son, where he talked about punching holes in the wall. 650,000 views. And they're not alone, there's a bunch of other random check marks that I don't know. And the thing is, for a lot of them, it's specifically about the soccer game. Yeah. Some fans were mean after a soccer game. Therefore, they are signing this woman's petition that make it a legal requirement when opening a new social media account to provide a verified form of ID where the account belongs to a person under the age of 18, verify the account with the ID of a parent guardian, prevent anonymized harmful activity, providing traceability if an offense occurs. Well, number one, um... They can trace accounts if an offense actually occurs, but you being offended isn't an offense. Kind of a kind of a thing. Also, isn't this just harmful to like LGBT youth and any youth that have any differing opinions from their parents? Or isn't this a big red flag because what if it gets hacked and everyone's IDs get stolen because they've sent them into Twitter or whatever social media? Like imagine all of these like um random small social media sites they would never be able to be any competition for youtube twitter anything like that because why would i give my id to any of these small sites you'd never do it it would basically lock in social media to be the current sites that currently exist it's just all in all a stupid idea that stupid people seem to love like really love it like it is 2:55 a.m. right now and uh yeah they uh they love it they absolutely love it